Everyone needs more storage. This is why resellers have a tremendous opportunity to make money in a market increasingly critical to both large and small businesses. A solid storage solution is often built on a reliable, scalable server. You start with a chassis, something along the lines of AIC's server storage unit. Rack mount solutions make for a more efficient, flexible design, and AIC's 3U box shows that it's easy to integrate 16 drives into just over 5 inches of cabinet space. Drop in a motherboard next. For instance, Intel's S5000 VSA gives you the PCI Express slots needed to connect a high bandwidth storage controller, while dual gigabit Ethernet controllers offer blazing fast, bulletproof communications. A pair of quad-core Xeon processors and as much memory as your customer can afford should keep your storage servers running well for years to come. Next, Add a powerful RAID controller like Adaptex 4805 SAS Unified Serial Controller, an 8-port PCI Express card that delivers the flexibility of both SAS and SATA. By connecting the card to your server's backplane through a SAS expander, you solve the usual cable management mess encountered when stuffing 16 drives into a single box. Now, just because your storage server holds 16 drives doesn't mean your customer's upgrade options are limited. That same Adaptec card connecting to a host of internal drives also features an external connector. Simply hook that connector up to a JBOD stacked on top of the rack storage server and you've instantly multiplied the box's potential. A JBOD, or just a bunch of disks, isn't nearly as expensive as adding a second server. Take XStore's SAS SATA JBOD enclosure as a perfect example. XStore packs 24 2.5-inch drives into a 2U space. It leaves out the motherboard, processors, and memory while keeping the important stuff, drive base, a single or dual expander, and a power supply. By attaching the JBOD to Adaptex controller card, your customer server sees one central pool of capacity, not the two you'd expect from separate boxes. Should your customer's storage needs soar, an expander on the JBOD lets you daisy chain yet another chassis. Depending on the number of devices supported by the controller and expander, your customer can add up to six JBODs before hitting the technical limits of SAS. Still need more? Just add another Adaptec card to the server. So long as the box is built with scalability in mind, you can keep expanding it. Some customers are bound to say, hey, I've already got a server. Can't I use it for storage? Sure. Many kinds of low-end servers will work fine for basic storage, but as the businesses need scale with more users, more data, more security, at the very least that old server will need a SaaS controller. For only a few hundred dollars, a quality SaaS controller preserves the customer's SATA investment while laying a path for more functionality as the customer's needs and budget dictate. Adding on more SATA drives means big capacity at a low price, and when it comes time to hit the next level in performance and run drives 24 by 7, SAS is an even better option. There's a good reason to be extra picky about your controller hardware. Not only does the storage controller strongly influence performance, it also dictates which types of RAID can be used. With up to 16 drives in one box, you have to decide how to structure all that capacity. Spanning all of the drives into one volume is fine, but you don't get any speed or data protection benefits. Nowadays, the most common RAID formats are built into motherboard chipsets. RAID 0, for instance, gives you a little extra speed through striping, where a data stream is split up and written to multiple drives, letting one job finish in a fraction of the time writing to a single drive would take. RAID 1 enables redundancy through mirroring, where anything written to one volume is duplicated to an invisible second volume. Chipset leaders like Intel are even pushing fault-tolerant RAID 5 as a value-add. Many RAID 5 configs use a hot spare drive, which sits idle until it has to take over for a failed drive. Adaptex RAID 5 EE goes another step by integrating the hot spare into the array and spreading the spare's capacity across all of the drives. You still keep the spare's available capacity online, but get a performance boost by striping to one more drive. Once your RAID system is in place, help customers exploit the SAS controller's support for both SATA and SAS drives. SATA disks are inexpensive and high capacity. 
Top-end SATA models like Seagate's Barracuda and Barracuda ES can hold up to 750 gigabytes in a single drive. Business customers backing up periodically accessed data are safe using SATA storage as an affordable target. SAS hardware can offer much faster performance and higher-end data protection features. Seagate's Cheetah and Savio lines are two good examples. Dual ports give SAS drives an automatic failover if one cable comes loose or breaks, and higher quality motors are better able to handle 24 by 7 workloads without sacrificing dependability. SAS drives cost more, just like SCSI used to, but for customers with mission-critical apps requiring constant uptime and round-the-clock access, SAS is clearly today's best option. SAS really shines in the random high-frequency data accesses typical of online purchases, bank transactions, email servers, and database queries. So, while customers storing a lot of information can enjoy the sheer capacity of SATA in a protective RAID array, businesses constantly hammering their storage systems with lots of I.O. need SAS.